So Sonoff has come out with a new version of their Mini Extreme. And yeah, if you look right here at this logo, get my big fat finger out the way, does it matter? So zooming in, cause this thing is pretty small. They've definitely stayed with this form factor. Ooh, they've given it a different color. And there's the Matter logo there. Um, just to give you an idea of the size, this is a double A battery. Everybody should know what a double A battery is. It's pretty damn small. And look at the difference. And look at the difference in the size there for the depth. Pretty decent little size relay you can fit in some of the different boxes and everything around the house. Now, the one thing I'm seeing right off the bat, yeah, let's zoom in here because um, this is one of the issues I have. Now, it is a 10 amp relay again. I know I did that test on that one model and ran way over 10 amps and it did fine, but hey, stick to the rating. I doubt they put a fuse in this time. So yeah, definitely put a fuse on this if you have a 15 amp breaker because you don't want this being the weakest link. You always want the breaker to be a weakest link. That's what they're there for. When stuff shorts out down the line, you don't want this to short out. You want the breaker to short out and trip. It looks like, is that the same QR code? Not really sure. I'll try to scan the one on the back of it, but at least they do give you one on the manual. That way you don't have to pull this back out the wall, but hopefully this isn't the only one because I lose the boxes. Now, this was the previous model. This was the ESP32 model. Looks like everything is the same. Same size, same everything. So let's dive into this one. Just run the finger down around the side. Looks the same to me. Looks the exact same. I'll have to compare with some of my previous footage. Um, the other model I had had some uh, mishaps trying to see the uh, relay amperage. So let's slide this out. Okay, so they added the little temperature little pad for the relay. I think they had that last time maybe. Everything's looking the same. Um, are we ESP? Yeah, I can see we have an ESP logo. Let's see if we can get even a better close up. What do we got here? Is that ESP 32 C three? The, the ink is gone from the little pad juicing on it, but it looks like ESP 32 C three. I want to look on my full screen and see. I think it is. We have the pads again. Hard to read. They really got the writing on this so bad. That's not my camera. But hey, do you need it? Given it's supposed to be matter. But hey, it's still cool to put your own firmware on it. There's the antenna there. So not a whole lot different and probably nothing different. Just maybe the ESP32 C3, if that's really what it was. And then they threw matter firmware on it. So it looks like the same thing, a button on the front, and then you get your S1 and S2. Those are gonna be for low voltage, probably just like a dry you know, input. Don't try to feed the mains input into there. I'm gonna check the docks. I'm pretty sure it does not accept mains, but check the wiring diagrams or all the different deals. Um, it's like line in, line out, neutral, neutral, um, pretty the same deal. Maybe just added matter to it. Let's wire it up and add it to the matter to see if it matters. So we'll fire it up on our little cliff quick test and apply power to it. And we're going to add it into the matter on home assistant in the little matter python deal if you haven't done the whole matter thing check out one of my videos down below i'll link the thing on how to add matter to home assistant and add devices fairly easy to do so after adding it into the matter integration in home assistant 
You can see it's already in here. You get the smart plug unit that says smart plug in unit. And of course, since matter is local, it's going to, you know, click in really quick, really fast. I did not add this to any like EWE link integration, cloud crap, no application, took it out the box, added it using the little scan code on there using my phone and went right in. Pretty cool local to do the matter thing. Now I want to see push the button yeah and it's fairly quick within less than a second for the update of the status now the one thing I'm not seeing is that s1 and s2 whether it's open or closed so you really couldn't do any like double press triple press long press stuff here like you could if you put your own firmware on the device so that's going to be one drawback there and i'm not seeing any really config things so it's really just changing the state and does that really work i guess i should find out and just to add on about some of the matter being beta in home assistant at the time of the recording still beta um if i push the button on it the state doesn't update because i've turned the power off on it when i was hooking up the jumper and it takes some time for the devices to pop back in it's not like you know some of your esp home or tasmoda devices that just pop in that's another reason i'll say to put your own custom firmware on some of this stuff if you can but i do understand the whole matter thing is just take it out the box and pair it up and it's local right it's not necessarily a sewn off it thing just restarted the add-on in home assistant and it should be popping back in and there we go definitely odd there but I just want to see if we can toggle this thing on and off yeah so it changes each state so it's meant for an actual light switch that stays on or stays off and but you can see the limitation here we had our own stuff on it possibly if I did add it into the ewe link app but there we go adding it into the cloud to change the configuration we don't have the configuration option here to change that if there is one. And I'm gonna pass on adding a light switch to the cloud that's in my house. But that leads to other things. What about firmware upgrades? Can we upgrade the firmware on it from the Matter deal in Home Assistant? I don't know them doing that yet. It's a good question. So that leads to should you buy one or five? If you've got a home that you've got to put in a bunch of Matter stuff, say you're doing like Google Home, Alexa type integrations, Matter's probably really going to be a good solution for that because you just take it out the box, pair it up with those, and it is fully local, no apps having to deal with it. But for the Home Assistant users, I'm going to say no. I'm going to stick to using the Shelly stuff. Those come with the integration out the box. They're MQTT, they're API, they have the GUI, the whole nine yards. You really don't have to use their app. You can put them in the cloud if you want. So it kind of fits everybody there with those little Shelly relays that are going to be the better choice for me or my recommendations for this. So that'll pretty much do it all for this one. I do appreciate them it for sending this product for you know checking it out and hope to see other stuff they jump into in this whole matter thing as it gets better and really matters so yeah press all them buttons and y'all take care How you doing? just like that Whoa. How about over there to the right, to the side? No!